Football has always played an important role in international politics, with an estimated 3.5 billion fans worldwide. The game aided the outbreak of war between El Salvador and Honduras in 1970, as well as the deterioration of relations between Egypt and Algeria in 2009. However, football has always played a positive political role in Iraq. Football has the ability to bring people together as well as tear them apart. Iraq's history exemplifies the sport's ability to bring people together despite seemingly irreconcilable differences. Iraq won the AFC Asian Cup championship game in 2007 by defeating Saudi Arabia 1-0 in the final match. Iraqi nationals from various ethnic and religious backgrounds played together and won, including Christians, Turkmen, Kurds, Sunni, and Shiite Arabs. This diverse group of men worked together in the spirit of one team and one homeland while a sectarian war erupted. While dead bodies were being thrown in the streets of Baghdad, the players continued to play. In times of war, one should never underestimate the value of a positive distraction. The Iraqi national football team and its players helped to alleviate the region's ongoing internal conflicts. Despite stark differences, the team represented a beacon of hope among the rubble that people could peacefully coexist, even work together towards a common goal. Because of the direct influence of the Iraqi national football team, the civil war ended shortly after the Asian Cup. They set an example for Iraqis and the rest of the world, demonstrating the importance of popular unity and acceptance of others. The team's bond strengthened the fabric of Iraqi society. The streets of Baghdad were filled with gunfire on the evening of July 29, 2007. On this rare occasion, however, the gunfire was a collective celebration of the Iraqi national team's heroic victory. The streets were alive with the sounds of ecstasy. We felt proud to be Iraqis for the first time in our lives as we watched the national team play together. The Iraq War and the Civil War that followed were watershed moments in our lives as teenagers. Football was one of our only sources of hope as chaos engulfed our country. We watched as the Iraqi national identity crumbled before our eyes. People clung to sectarianism and religion as defining characteristics that trumped all else, but for 90 minutes, Iraqis put aside our differences and cheered on our national team. Despite more than two decades of constant conflict, Iraqis have never lost sight of their collective soul or identity as hospitable people. Prior to the Asian Cup, I witnessed restaurant owners refuse to accept payments from visitors from Arab Gulf countries. A taxi driver in Kuwait refused to accept a fare from a Kuwaiti passenger. A street vendor selling coffee refused to serve a man from the Sultanate of Oman. Later, the same street vendor refused to serve an Omani visitor. It was common for militias to claim to represent a specific sect in order to discriminate against and, in some cases, kill those who came from other parts of the world or practiced a different religion. Football provided an opportunity for Iraqis to become more accepting of tourists and people from different backgrounds, more than 55,000 Arabs from various Gulf countries visited Iraq. Iraqis welcomed their Arab siblings with humble hospitality, which has now become a well-known custom that Iraqis are proud of. After the Arab Gulf Cup Federation announced its decision to hold the Arab Gulf Cup in Basra, football continued to play a positive political role in Iraq. The football tournament, known as the Gulf Cup, was held on a regular basis to strengthen Arab bonds and to instill a sense of national belonging in all Iraqis. Furthermore, Kurds from Iraq's northern regions arrived in Basra to show their support for the Iraqi national team. This presented a positive image of the country and its people. As Iraqis of all stripes flocked to the city for the tournament, young Basrans felt a sense of pride and joy. They were overjoyed to see their Arab brothers and sisters. These positive feelings were shared by all Basra residents, who felt obligated to show benevolent generosity to everyone who visited the province. The Iraqi football team, Basra residents, southern Iraqis, Kurds, Sunnis, and Shiites all came together for a shared passion for the sport. For a brief moment, everyone put aside their differences to put Iraq's best foot forward. To unite around a shared love for something rather than fight over what divides us is a powerful tool, one compelling enough to tip the scales towards peace. 
The Arab Gulf countries, with their flags flying side by side, played an important role in conveying to the world that they came to Iraq to support the Iraqis. This unity was brief, but it was beautiful. We can no longer afford to be cut off from our region and the people of our neighboring countries, with whom we share a language and heritage. Iraq has the potential to become a destination where people feel safe enough to travel. To share in the joys and challenges of Iraq's rich history and culture. Because of Saddam Hussein's aggressive policies, Iraq has been isolated from the Arab Gulf countries for more than 30 years. These relationships have been consistently tumultuous since 2003. Despite the divisions among the peoples of the region, football serves as a reminder that unity and peace are possible. The simple act of sitting next to a neighbor to cheer on a team in pursuit of a common goal could be the start of long-term positive change in the Middle East. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe the channel.